In order to run PHP MyAdmin on a Mac, you're going to need a web server running locally on your computer. And this is because PHP MyAdmin is a web-based application, so we need to run it through our web server. Uh, the other thing you're going to need running on your computer is a MySQL database server, which is obvious because that's why we have PHP MyAdmin. It's so we can administer our MySQL databases. In this video, the server software I'm going to be using is Laravel Herd. That's how I'm running my Nginx web server. And my MySQL database is running via DB Engine. Now, you might be using different tools on your end. Uh, regardless, the steps I show should help point you in the right direction. Uh, but to the extent anything I'm showing is not translating to the software that you're using, feel free to leave questions in the comments as you hit any roadblocks. So jumping right in, our first step is to download phpMyAdmin. We can get it from their homepage at phpMyAdmin.net. So I'll download this. I'm going to locate the resulting file in my downloads folder. It's a zip file, so I'll double click it to unzip it. And I'll rename the resulting folder to simply phpMyAdmin. Next up, I need to move this folder to the directory, uh, the document root where my web server runs sites from. In my case, that's going to be in my herd directory on my computer. So I'm going to drag it over to there. And then to run a site in herd, I simply go into the interface under settings. I'm going to go to the sites tab and it should auto detect any folder that I have in that herd directory. And you can see it's done that. It went ahead and set up a URL for me for that phpMyAdmin directory. That's gonna be located at phpMyAdmin.test. Now, if the server software that you're using doesn't do this for you, you might have some manual steps you need to complete at this time. Uh, things like going into a virtual host config file so you can set up some local URL that's going to point to that PHP MyAdmin directory. Once you've got that set up, you want to then load that URL and the application in your browser. So I'll do that on my end. And this should bring you to a login screen where you can attempt to log into your MySQL server. Now, in my case, my MySQL server is running via DB Engine. And when that was set up, it sets me up with the default user of root. And the default password for that user is simply blank. So I'm not going to type in anything there. However, when I attempt to log in, it is going to fail because that default password of blank is actually not allowed uh, based on the configuration. It says we cannot log in without a password. Uh, to get around this, I'm just going to go into my configuration and make it so that we can log in with this blank password. Uh, alternatively, we could update the password for the default root user, but it's actually going to be quicker to change this config. So let's go that route. I'm going to go back to that PHP my admin directory. And I'm going to look for a file config.sample.inc.php. I'm going to create a duplicate of that. And I'm going to rename the duplicate simply to be config.inc.php. Let's open that file. And within this file, I'm going to search for the setting allow no password. You can see it's currently set to false. I'm going to toggle that to true. And then let's try to log in again. So it's still failing, but I am getting a different error. So that's progress. I'm told that I cannot log into the MySQL server. No such file or directory. So upon seeing this, the first thing I would check is just to make sure that my MySQL server is running. So in my case, I'm going to bring up DB Engine. And the service I'm trying to connect to is the second one on port 3306. And I do see a green light there. I do see the option to stop the server. So that indicates that this server is running. So I don't think that's the problem here. Uh, and in testing this out, I did do a little bit of Googling around what to do when you reach this error. And what I found was I needed to go back into that config and find this option for host and change it from the default of localhost to the IP address of 127001. With that in place, let's try logging in once more. And excellent, we were able to get in that time. And of course, now that we're in PHP MyAdmin, we can look at any of our databases. For example, on this database server, I have a sample database called Demo. I can see the different tables within there and do all the other things that we typically do in PHP MyAdmin. So in summary, pretty easy setup. You just have to download the software, get it running with your local web server, possibly make a few config changes along the way to get it working, uh, and you should be good to go. Now, if anything I showed in this video is not matching up with what you're seeing on your end, maybe you're working with different server software, like I said, leave a comment and I can try to point you in the right direction.